Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be checking out the cooling system on this car behind me. This is the Zayad RC and we are at a test track in Bruntingthorpe, England. Now if you haven't already, it's worth checking out Nismo's channel. They've got all kinds of videos on this car so you can learn more about it. I'll have an annotation below as well as a link in the video description. The cooling system of the Zayad RC is actually pretty unique because it's cooling two separate powertrains using a single circuit. So here on the side of the vehicle you can see these two air ducts. This one here, air will be feeding a radiator which is mounted at the back, uh, and this one here will be allowing air to go in to feed the 1.5 liter engine, as well as air for the pneumatic paddle shifters. Okay, so let's take a look at how the cooling systems of the Ziad RC work out. So there's actually two separate systems, each has its own dedicated radiator, and there's going to be air intakes uh, above the two rear tires, uh, which the air will feed through these radiators. So on one system, we've got the engine, the gearbox, the two motors, and the controllers. Uh, and on the other system, we have the battery and the intercooler. So as your coolant is, uh, you've got your air flowing through this radiator here, cooling the, the liquid coolant, the water ethylene glycol mix that's going to be going through it. Um, and so that's going to go from the radiator first into the controllers. After it passes through the controllers, it's going to go through the two motors, then into the engine coolant jackets. From the engine coolant jackets, it will flow into this coolant housing where the engine will also have an oil cooler uh, in that coolant housing. So the coolant's going to flow over that oil cooler as well as the transmission oil cooler and cool off both of those two components uh, for the oil. Then it will flow back to the pump, back through the radiator, and the loop continues. And this is going to be flowing at around 30 liters per minute, um, and it's going to need to reject around 40 kilowatts of energy. So for the second cooling system, we're going to be cooling the intercooler and the battery. This is going to be cooling the intake charge, so you're going to have a liquid flowing through it. So what we've got is your air flowing over that rear tire into the intake, going through your radiator. That's going to go to a pump over into the battery, through the battery, through the intercooler, and then back to the radiator. So this is going to be about a 30 kilowatt of power that it needs to dissipate. Um, and this is going to be running a dielectric liquid through it um, for the battery system. So let's take a look at the cooling system on the actual car. So the air is going to be coming through the front here, feeding through this radiator. From the radiator, it's going to pass through these coolant lines. Uh, the coolant line is going to go to the battery. The battery is then going to send that coolant up through the air to water intercooler. And then from the air to water intercooler, that coolant is going to come back into your radiator. And then the system will continue. Now as the battery is supplying 400 volts to the two electric motors, it's going to be generating quite a bit of heat, so it needs to be liquid cooled. So the coolant, which is a dielectric fluid, will come in through this inlet here, pass through the battery in kind of a wave-like form uh, to make sure that it cools all of the individual cells, and then it'll be coming out on this end here. Now let's look at the other side of the car. So we've got our cold air rushing through this radiator here on the left side. That coolant that's running through this radiator is going to pass over that's going to go into the controller, then through the motors, then pass over into the engine. It'll go run through the engine coolant jackets, over into this coolant housing right here, where the transmission oil and engine oil will be cooled. And then it's going to run back to this pump uh, into this radiator. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And please head over to Nismo's channel and check out the content they've got regarding the Zod RC.